morning, everyone. I'm Laura Harris, filling in for Kristen Strachalitis. Welcome to First Shift. Coming up, we have the latest trends and headlines for you. But first, our lead story. Tests for Amazon's autonomous delivery robot are ending. Scout was launched three years ago. The machine was being tested in neighborhoods, and Amazon had been holding meet and greets in those communities just a few months ago. Now, Amazon is winding down experimental projects because of slowing sales growth. 400 people working on the project will be offered new jobs. Another EV arriving in the U.S. soon is BMW's i7 EV. And the company says pre-orders prove that demand for luxury EVs is white hot. BMW has already sold more than half of next year's U.S. allotment. And demand for the brand's EVs already on the market helped lead to a 3.2% sales increase over the prior year. The i7 costs nearly $120,000. BMW hopes to sell 200,000 EVs this year. That would double the number it delivered in 2021. The company plans the push production limits in factories to capacity to meet demand. Toyota Financial Services is offering payment relief options to customers affected by Hurricane Ian. People who live where the hurricane hit could get extensions and deferred lease payments. Their billing statements could be redirected and they can arrange phone or online payments. They can contact either Toyota or Lexus Financial Services for help. A new report is casting more light on the lack of auto mechanics available to fill open positions. Scheduling management software company Deputy analyzed the most popular trade jobs in every state. It found that Michigan, Missouri, and Nevada had the most open positions for auto mechanics. Michigan alone had more than 900 open positions. Dealers there say filling those jobs could really help busy service departments. So it's been good to see growth in that business. It's just that if we had more technicians, we could service even more customers. The average wage for the opening is $20.90, or about $43,000 salary. GMC's heavy-duty line of Sierra pickups is going a little more luxe. It's adding Denali Ultimate and AT4X versions next year. The Denali Ultimate will have full-grain leather massaging seats, a 12-speaker Bose Premium system, and a 15-inch multicolor head-up display. The AT4X is a higher version of the AT4 trim. It's designed to attract a younger, wealthier buyer. The trucks will have a new front end, a more powerful diesel engine, a standard 10-speed transmission, and other changes that largely mirror the updated Chevy Silverado HD. GMC is hoping to solidify its position as the top seller of pickups priced at $75,000 and over. That's all we have today for First Shift. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.